Hey guys, what's going on? My name is James Mason. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what a support and resistance is. And I will actually, you know, chart one out for you. So, we're going to actually look over ticker AAPL, which is Apple. And if you have no indicators running, uh, which is actually, you know, the best way to do it in my opinion because you know it, it will look something like this you know that that's how my indicators look and honestly this is you know this is kind of a little bit too much going on for me to be drawing you know these these trend lines so what I would do is just you know remove my indicators to where it's you know just candlesticks and the best way I would recommend to start off is to go back <clears throat> to the longest time frame in your charts. And my longest time frame is the one day, one year chart. And the further you go back, the more accurate the support and resistance levels will actually be. So we're going to start right here in the one day, one year chart. And to kind of to kind of frame this out a little bit, what I like to do is just to find that first support, which is always the easy, easiest. So to find a support, you know, you have to know, you know, you have to know what what is a support. Well, a support is, you know, an area for this stock the price of this stock that it actually consolidates in and it actually has to bounce off of that area twice for that to become a support a resistance is an area where it keeps getting rejected and it has to, to bounce off that same area twice for that to be considered a resistance so to start Let's frame this out. I'm gonna look for my first two, um, my first two bounces on this chart. So I go back to actually the beginning of the year and right here in the very beginning of the chart, you know, it bounces twice. So that confirms, you know, a support. So that that's pretty easy. So we'll draw that line right there. <clears throat> Now, over the past year since Apple is actually, you know, at their yearly high, this, this makes it very easy for me. And this technically isn't a resistance, but at the same time, you know, it, it kind of is because it came up here and it hit its yearly high and then it started downtrending again. But to frame this out, I just put a line, you know, roughly up here. Oh crap, hold on. So it, it kind of gives me this this area to work in. So the next thing I'll do, I'll go back down here to my lowest line, which will be my first support. And I'm just gonna go up and I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna look for areas where it either, you know, bounces, you know, in a dip twice or it gets rejected twice. And that's where where I will draw another trend line. <clears throat> so as I'm looking, you know, across this past year, you know, I'm going to, my crosshairs right here, this is when I'm, you know, going off of. I'll start going up through the, go up through the chart. And over here at the beginning of the year, you know, uh, it spikes right here and then it kind of goes back down. So I'm going to use my crosshair. I'm going to go up, you know, right there and put it right there at that point. And what I'm looking at here is, you know, I have it hitting right here. You know, right here it, it, it comes up 
and you know starts like you said a second ago it it downtrends and then it comes back up again then it downtrends right here and so I, I haven't you know even though that this had came up and spiked and if you look over here you know this one had came down to the same area that's not technically a support or a resistance now you know did traders psychologically you know go off of that that's that's what appears to have happened but you know I I wouldn't you know indicate that as a support or a resistance so I'm gonna move along and you know I'm going up and I start seeing you know actually some you know consolidation right here and then I look over here and here's a little bit and here's one huge candlestick that had came down in touch and let's see I'm actually gonna put put one you know just see roughly and in, in this area and the reason why I mean it, it doesn't have anything to do with this one <clears throat> but it actually you know bounces right there bounces right there so that's confirmation and over here you know it, it gets pretty close to touching it so I'm gonna keep going up and right here's another one so it bounces all right there now over here you know it actually you know because it's turned out you know we already indicated this one but it comes back up bounces again and there you go so I'm gonna come back up and right in here is another one You know, you can start seeing it, you know, getting rejected in this range. And then I'm going to go up some more. All right, here's another one. I think this recording program is interfering with my charts. So I got another trend line. And it, you can see, it kind of wants to bounce right there, but it doesn't. But it actually bounces right here. And mm, it's a little bit there, but I wouldn't really look so much at, at that point. But over here, you know it it's kind of bouncing in here with with some of these candlesticks you know as well I mean yeah some of them you know actually do end up breaking through and especially their wicks but overall I would say you know that was another you know support or resistance line and I go up here here's another good one and you can kind of see you know where it bounces right here breaks through right there and it kind of bounces a little bit right there uh, getting rejected a little bit and then it takes off through again <clears throat> and as it took off again it kind of I'd almost wanted to act like you know that was 
you know, it's a support at that moment when if you were looking at the chart. But it, it goes up here and then you know it drops back down here to to this level and then back up here. And so let's see. And right here. That'll be another one. So, as you saw, you know, what I was looking for is that confirmation for that double bounce or that double rejection. And right here with this line, I have a double bounce. I come up here, have a double bounce. Almost, almost the third one, but I for sure have a double bounce right there. <clears throat> and, you know, it bounces right there and then bounces right there. It's bouncing right there. Let's see, and then on this one, it's, hmm. Just how the, you know these lines have worked out it, it for sure bounces right there but you know so coming up here it definitely you know bounces quite a few times in this range and then up here you start getting to the point you know because it went into its you know yearly high because you know Apple is actually it actually has been uptrending for the past year so as you kind of, you know, break past these areas to where, you know, it wasn't consolidating so much, you start getting to the point to where you don't really have, in a sense, you know, too many, you know, supports and resistances, especially if, if a stock has never, you know, went up that high as of yet. So, you know, I, that relatively quick, you know, that's how you find a support and a resistance. And I tried my best to, you know, simplify um, this explanation a little bit. You know, hopefully I didn't oversimplify it and, and make it confusing. But this video is more geared towards the beginner stock trader. And... If you, you know, if you found this video beneficial, you know, please uh, subscribe to my channel, give it a like, and share it, you know, because there's someone else out there, especially, you know, a beginner that they're they're looking for this information. They need someone to show them, you know, what to look for, and it, it doesn't take long to to chart out a stock, and you should always chart out, you know, a stock before you trade it, because you know these these levels they matter. And, you know, it gives you a good indicator, you know, on the price action in these ranges. So, like I said, you know, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and, and follow me on Twitter. And I appreciate it. You know, thank you for your time, and I will see you in the next video.